to Emacs Conf 2019. So I want to also give a big shout out and a thank you to the organizers, uh, especially Amin and Sasha. Um, Sasha, I first ran into her about 2003, and she was one of the people who got me into Emacs Lisp and got me into the you know deeper into Emacs. And you know it's been a long story since then, but it's been great. And I just want to thank her for helping teach me and uh, and being there. Um, so this is about a spreadsheet mode that I have made for Emacs. And I'm just going to jump right ahead in. So sheet create. And let's see. Let's have it be 24 rows and 40 columns at the default. OK. You can see we can move the cursor around. And what I'll do is, you know, cells can contain any list value. So you can put anything you want in there pretty much. And the idea, I'll put a few more numbers in and demonstrate copy and paste. Don't worry, we'll get to the exciting stuff soon. OK, so I have rectangle selection. Just using the arrow keys, I, I tried to follow the Emacs uh, key bindings. And I can cut that. I can click around with the mouse and then use the keyboard to paste in different places. Um, I also have undo. There's redo and so on and so forth, just, you know, just the typical stuff. Um, but I wanted to be able to store any value in a Lisp cell because I wanted to create customized applications. This is a spreadsheet, but instead of being specialized for, you know, summing columns of numbers and computing interest and stuff, or storing addresses of names and numbers of people, instead you can put any data such as a custom music notation sequencer that I have got together. Let me see. I'm going to just pull up the right, the right one. OK. Now, I'll point out one quick thing here. In the top left corner, you can see that in the top left cell, it doesn't have to be there, but that's where it is. There is a bracketed expression there saying that the, shell, the, the variable name is on the left. And the values on the right. So the cell sheet class, the, the class of this whole spreadsheet is a subclass of the spreadsheet class that's included in cell mode. So you can actually subclass that and customize it to implement spreadsheet classes for different applications. So here's the application. You've got um, there's this column here is the conductor column where the tempo changes, for example, 35 beats per minute. And the measure divisions are given. Now, in the top column, in the top row, these are also class names. I have a class called cello and a class called violin in Emacs Lisp that will um, receive each column of you know receive their respective columns of notes, and uh, actually make a scheme program that generates the sound. And I'll play the sound for you. How it's generated is a bit beyond the scope of this talk. But, um, you know, for example, I can go in. Let me press escape here to clear the selection. Um, you know, I can go in and change. This might make it sound wrong, but I can go in and change some of the notes. And what I'm going to do is render this to audio with a hotkey that extracts it, runs it through those classes, the cello and violin classes, as I mentioned, and then feeds it to Scheme all in one button. Takes a couple seconds. <laughs> and it sounds terrible. It's going to sound all out of tune because I'm using weird pitches and I edited them. Um, so, and I'll show a different sequence as well. Here's one that's a little longer and then has more tracks. This one has five different voices. Um, and so, the, you know, the idea being I wanted to create, I'll try to keep this, uh, I'll try to wrap up momentarily so that I have time for questions. But the idea here is a general uh, spreadsheet mode where you can put whatever data you want in cells. You can also save it to a file. This, vi this is just a file here. I'll show you in the shell.
as you can see, it's just a bunch of strings, a bunch, you know, it's printed out to a string and so on. Um, let me get back to where I was and I'll get this playing and then I'll wrap it up. It should start playing momentarily. There we go. And of course it sounds terrible because this is just some pretty much some random notes that I am doing to test this software. It's not a finished piece of music. I'm gonna turn this, turn this down completely. And so um, to wrap up this portion of the talk, um, this is under the MIT license. I've chosen just a very simple kind of friction-free license. Um, I would love for you know people to check it out if they wanted to customize it to do other things with it, and I'm working on documentation. It does need to be optimized. Um, you know, it, it, it can be a little bit it can be a little bit sluggish, but um, you know, I think it's a, a pretty decent start. So I am going to um, wrap up my talk at this point. I'll be available on the IRC channel for questions if anybody's got any. And uh, thank you so much for having me. And I want to say a thank you once again to the organizers and to the whole world of the Emacs community across this little planet. Thank you very much. And thank you so much, David, for your awesome talk.